Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving world lines. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says that two space-time diagrams are shown with a world line on each. Write down what each of the world lines describes. So you notice in both diagrams for part A and B, we've got the time axis and the x axis. So we're dealing with the x dimension of space. And in part A, you'll notice we've got a straight vertical line. So that means that our position x is going to stay the same over time. So that's the same as a stationary object with a constant x. Whereas in part B, we've got a straight horizontal line, which means we're gonna have a constant time and a changing position. So this is the same as a rod in space time. And we say that it is not classed as a world line because it's got a constant time. And that's because world lines are all to do with what happens to an object over time. So this one is called a rod in space time. Question two says that the space time diagram below shows two world lines. So we've got our time axis and our space axis, which is the x dimension. And part A says how many dimensions are normally associated with space time? Well, remember there's usually four dimensions where three are space dimensions, x, y, and z, and one is time t. Part B then says which world line describes a faster speed? Well, remember it's going to be the positively sloping line which has the steeper gradient. And steeper in this case means closer to the x-axis, the position axis over here. So the world line with the faster speed is going to be the world line closest to the x-axis since its gradient is steeper. So that's this one here. Lastly, question three says to explain the difference between the two world lines on the space-time diagram below. So again, just like in questions one and two, we've got our time axis and our space axis of x, and we've got a straight line here and a curved line here. So we can say that the straight line represents an object traveling at constant speed, whereas the curved line represents an object which is accelerating. So remember, straight lines are used for objects that are stationary or moving at constant speed, whereas the curved lines will always be an object which is accelerating. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.